All right, so in today's video, I want to show you how you can subscribe your Shopify Remix application to webhooks that are coming from the Shopify store. And that will make the communication between the store and your application a lot easier. And if you're wondering why I'm standing up, even though I'm supposed to record this coding tutorial, then I don't know. So let me sit down and jump right into this tutorial. <laughs> Right now, in today's video, I want to show you how you can subscribe your app to a webhook. And that means your Shopify application gets notified anytime something happens within the Shopify store. For example, what I tested earlier was that my Shopify application gets notified every time a product was deleted. Or I can also notify my, my app whenever a product is being updated or created or whatever. And this took me quite a while to understand and to make it work, but I finally got it to work and I thought I'd make a video. Maybe some of you out there are struggling like myself. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. I'm showing you this within the uh, the app that I'm currently building. So I'm not going to show this uh, with a example app. You probably have your app working right now. So that's just the app that I'm working right now. I got um, I got this app that shows me these different type of products. And if whenever I select a product, I can post it and publish this media and it will get posted to Instagram. Well, uh, it's I'm very at the beginning of this of this application. But because of that, I want to get notified whenever something happens with my products, right? And that's why I want to subscribe to these webhooks. And that's why I want to show you first of all, because that's what we got to work with. And um, this right here is a documentation. I will also copy it and you can read it in the document uh, in the description below. And in here, you got all these so-called webhook, webhook subscription topics, right? So these topics define whatever webhook you're subscribing to. So in what event a webhook is being sent to your application or what your application can subscribe to. So basically, whenever a product is being created, you're notified, your application will get notified whenever a product is deleted, updated, whenever something happens, right? And you got this whole list of events, like there's tons and tons of stuff that your application can subscribe to. In my, in my um, example right here, I just want to subscribe to the event whenever a product is being updated. Um, so let's just copy this right here. Let's copy this topic. Let's jump back to VS code. And the first place that we have to edit is we will have to go to our shopify.server.ts. And in here we see this object Shopify app. And here we see this webhooks property. Right. And I also already got some webhooks installed here. App installed will be a webhook which is uh, installed by default. And I'm just going to copy and paste those lines. And I will not say products delete. I will say products update. So whenever this webhook is being sent to my application, then my application will notify it and it will redirect or forward uh, this HTTP request to this route right here, which is the webhooks route. So let's go to our webhooks.tsx. And in here we can see some a lot of switch case statements. So we got our request and it's coming in here. And then we see this topic and we can define what's going to happen in case of which topic. So I got a products create, I got some logic in here. I got this product delete, which I've tested earlier. And now I'm just gonna copy and paste those lines. And I will add products update. And I will change this console log to product was updated. Okay, so I got it saved. And maybe you did these steps as well. 
And um, so you might have thought, all right, let me just go in here. Let me go to my products. I'm a little sneaker head, so that's why I got all of these <laughs> sneakers in my example store. Anyways, um, I'm updating this, the title right here. So I will say save. And I would expect my app to do something, but nothing's happening. Now, you might have also restarted your app. Let's try that as well. npm run dev. Maybe the webhook is installed by now. Okay, so I restarted the app. I got another port right here. Let's try it again. Let's update my product. Save it. And still nothing is happening, right? And now I wanna send a big shout out to this post right here, right? Because this Shopify partner, Ulrich, had the same problem and he came up with this set, uh, solution and it's just you will have to restart your application with this flag right here you're gonna have to restart your application with reset so basically a webhook is only being installed when your application is reinstalled within the app and what you're doing is you're just restarting your app but you will have to reinstall your app in order to subscribe to all of those webhooks. So let's just try it right now. And fingers crossed it works <laughs> because I don't want to do this tutorial all over again. <laughs> all right, so we are here and our first question is create this project as a new as a new app on Shopify. And we don't want to create a new app. We want to connect it to an existing app. In my, in my case, my existing app is this social auto post. You got a whole bunch of, applic uh, of apps, but I'm going to connect it to that right here. Uh, which existing app is this for? Yeah, it's, it's that one. And as you can see here, it's also sending app installed webhook to app server. Uh, it didn't happen before. You see, these webhooks are delivered. Um, it didn't happen. It doesn't happen when you just run your application with npm run dev. Also posted to webhooks. So let's just try it. Let's just try it again. I don't even have to do this. I just, I could just stay in here, retry it. Don't even have to refresh my page. Now, fingers crossed it works. I'm going to update my product, save it. And nothing is happening, of course. <laughs> Oh, okay. 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 Uh, I just have to, after I restart my app, I have to go to my, go to my application once. So I did that. I called this application once. And as you can see right now, I created a new, a new product, but let me try it with this right here again. So let me, set a new title to this uh, Air Jordan Black Monarch and I'll just say it's now the Air Jordan Black Monarch 2 whatever gonna save it and you can see right here it has posted this uh, webhooks not sure why it gives me a 404 back but you can see right here this console log it says product was updated so the solution to the whole problem if you have if you have the same problem as i had a while ago and it really took me a while to figure it out is to just restart your app but reset it so set the flag reset and that will be the solution to your problem and if that was helpful please leave a like and subscribe consider buying me a coffee and i'll uh, see you in the next video bye bye